Y'all, it's time to make red beans and rice, New Orleans style. Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the Gangster Chef Kitchen where I teach you how you could be gangster in your own damn kitchen. In the videos you will see, I will be teaching you how to make the most amazing red beans and rice straight from New Orleans. Well, straight from a person from New Orleans, born and raised, yo. Listen, today is Monday, and in New Orleans, we had a tradition that we would always have red beans and rice on Monday. What? Look at this. Now, y'all see that? Mmm. Cheese. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's now that is red beans and rice. Now, most importantly, this is Camilla red beans and rice. Now, I'm gonna eat some in front of y'all. Now, usually this would be cauliflower, but listen, I wasn't trying to put cauliflower with red beans and rice. Mm mm. I'm gonna keep it traditional. Oh, along with some smoked turkey up in there. Mm. My mouth is watering, y'all. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, do y'all eat up? Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Look at that. Cheese. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Listen. Okay, y'all. Mm. Okay, one more, one more back. One more. Wait, and put a little meat on there. One more, one more. <laughs> mm. Creamy and mm. Mm. juicy. And, mm. All right, y'all. Y'all ready to make you some red beans and rice, New Orleans style? That's gangster? Let's get gangster in the kitchen. Okay, guys, so the first thing you want to do is lay your beans out on a sheet pan. These are two pounds of beans. Camilla red beans, y'all. Did I tell you? This is the famous Camilla red beans, authentic for New Orleans, Louisiana. So you want to pour your beans out on a pan, and you want to make sure that you find all the red beans that are not right the ones that are imperfect although i know they might be perfect in their own right so you want to go through the pan and get the get the imperfect ones out and then remember this is only a three-part process so it might seem easy but there's nothing like making a good pot of beans okay so while you're looking for the imperfect beans we are going to put our smoked turkey in a huge gumbo pot and let it boil okay so now the next step is we're gonna wash the beans off we're gonna take those beans we're gonna wash them you're gonna put them in a colander shake it off you're gonna look at that water and you're gonna make sure that that water is clean in the second round because we're gonna wash them off two times thoroughly and really get all of that dirt off of the red beans that's why sometimes you'll find beans that have a little grit taste in 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 your mouth in your mouth because sometimes people did not wash them beans you see that water right there that's first round it's a little cloudy so now we're gonna wash them one more time and ta -da, clean water Okay, now we're going to put them in a plastic bowl. Here's the bowl. I filled it up with water. And remember, the water is going to, the beans are going to swell in this water. So you want to pay attention. Okay, they're going to be um, overnighting. So they're going to be having a nice little bath overnight. And a lot of times we soak our beans so that we could get the gas out, but it never happened for me, honey. I'm constantly putting people in the gas chamber. So... I don't know how it works for you, so you might want to put some beano aside because these red beans are constantly giving me gas. But it might not be the same for you. So anyway, make sure you sit them in water overnight so that they can uh, swell. And it will cut the time just a little bit in half 
from the length of time it's going to take for you to cook the beans. Now, the ingredients I'm going to be using is Cabrini Trinity, which is all the flavors. I have um, uh, green peppers, I have jalapenos, onions with a little green onion in there, garlic, and green onions as well. And here is my green, my um, red beans that are being swollen right now. So, we're getting ready to cook some beans. So now here is the water, the um, turkey um, broth that I've made. And now I'm adding my beans. Well, actually what I'm doing right now is washing the beans off. So after the beans have been soaking overnight, you want to wash those, that water off of the beans. Okay, so you wash the water off the beans and I'm going to wash it off two times. And here are my seasonings. Get the seasonings of your choice, you guys. I, you know, I love me some Kinders and es Espelette and some granulated garlic. And Tony Sacheries is a staple in New Orleans. So I made my little concoction here. And here's Cabrini Trinity and everybody that is going to go. That's my onion inside my turkey bath. Okay. So now let's add. That is the green bell pepper. I have two green bell peppers there and jalapeno, two jalapenos. Cabrini Trinity is all the colors of peppers. I use these small sweet peppers, so I, I did about three of each color. So again, depending on how many you got, how much beans you're making, this is two pounds of beans. So depending on how many beans you are making, add accordingly. I use one whole onion and one green onion. And my garlic, I did one-fourth. Yes, I did. One-fourth. I let this uh, simmer together for 30 minutes. And then I came back. And we're going to add the beans to the turkey broth. The turkey stock. And guess what? Add the seasoning. Let it cook for two and a half hours or until your beans are tender, honey. And then you will have the most amazing red beans and rice. Gangster style from the Gangster Chef. Now that's gangster. I love y'all. Make sure you take time with yourself. If you eat right. If you think right. Lord, if you drink, drink right. You can't help but feel right. It is the gangster's law. I'll see y'all in the next video.